Hey everybody, what is going on? We are here with another episode of the Coastal Carolina Chanticleers Legacy here on College Hoops 2K8. Today they will go into Philadelphia, Pennsylvania to take on the Villanova Wildcats. And Villanova with Brooks Ataco is going to look to show their dominance as they are a ranked team coming in. And Coastal Carolina coming off of a loss against the Cincinnati Bearcats. They were able to get a win in their first game against the Campbell Camels. Let's see if they can get back on their winning ways as it is passed out to Coastler. And Coastler going to hit a three to start the ball game. Villanova now on their first possession. It is a taco. He's going to get it out there, and he's going to get it back. Now he's going to try to dump it down low. It goes back out for a three. The three is no good. Rebounded by Cannon Bros. And Cannon Bros is going to take this one. He's going to get it over to EJ Moeller. EJ Moeller inside. Nick Bacher, the third, and Bacher is going to slam it down. And the foul the free throw is no good. It is still a 5-0 lead for Coastal Carolina. Dumping it inside is Villanova, and that will go. And the and one is no good for Villanova either. So Coastal Carolina back with the ball now. And it is EJ Moeller ending up with it. EJ Moeller passing it out to Coastler. Coastler looking for a lane. Not finding one. He's going to get it to Bacher. Bacher inside. He kicks it outside to Moeller. Gets it back inside. And eventually outside to Cannon Bros, who will miss a wild three. But a rebound and put back by Jones. Jones, the center, doing some cleanup work there. Getting the bucket. It's a 7-2 ball game. Off of a miss from Nova. Here's Kostler trying to get around, dumping in. It is gotten and stolen and thrown out of bounds by Villanova. Ball comes back to Coastal. A three in his face, and he's not going to make it. Rebound Jones. Moeller with a huge three with a man in his face, and it's going to be 10-2. Villanova does get the dump inside. It'll be 10-4 now. And there's E.J. Moeller. Good drive, but he cannot get the finish. And now Nova coming down in a nice little teardrop. 10-6. Four-point lead for Coastal Carolina here in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania right now. And it's Cannon Bros outside. He will not get the three to go. Villanova now in transition and gets the lay-in. 10-8 as Nova starting to come back. And there's Cannon Bros lighting the three up wide open to get the five-point lead rolling for the Chanticleers. And a taco no good on the bomb three. It ends up back in a taco's hand. He's trying to pick up the assist here and a nice bucket. Villanova. Here's Muller. Over to Barnard. Barnard in the game now for the first time. Goodson, the center, trying to work his way. Gets back out to Bernard. Back over to Muller, trying to work his way in there. Jones with it now. Out to Kostler, and that is no good as he jacks up the three. Rebounded by Fordham. Gets it into a taco eventually. It will be a foul. First free throw is good. Second is good. It is a one-point ball game as we come down to half of the first half gone. And it is Kostler working it. It'll be stolen. And that is going to be an easy transition bucket for Ibekwi. There's Kostler. Good send. Villanova with their first lead of the ball game, 14-13. And Bernard getting inside and getting the lead back for Coastal Carolina. 
You have to wonder how much longer this good Coastal Carolina play can keep up. Usually the cream of the crop rises around this time. But they've held off Villanova very well for almost five minutes now in this ballgame. There's Bernard. And that one is good. And it is a three-point lead for Coastal. Ataco. He's got an open man. He's going for three. No good. Rebound Coastal Carolina. Coming in transition, and it's Bernard off the lay-in. A five-point lead again for Coastal Carolina, and a dagger there. That's a three-pointer for Villanova. They're only down two now. Bernard getting it into Bacher. Out to Poole. And there's Cannon Bros, and he will not make it, but Bacher with the rebound and put back and the end one to get it back to a five-point game. Wild pass there, and now Ataco ending back up with it. He will pass it out, try to get an assist. No good, but the rebound and put back is. So back to a three-point game, under two to play in the half. There's Cannon Bros, and he gets the friendly bounce. He's got five today, only shooting 33%. A steal by Cannon Bros, and he's got that one down to Bernard, who gets it into Poole, and Poole can't get the lay-in or the, I don't know, two-foot shot to go. So it is still a five-point game. No good by Villanova, and here comes Coastal Carolina, nearly stolen, but it is going to be Bacher with the ball. He gets it outside to an open Cannon Bros who cannot hit the shot. Rebound Villanova. Coming up on a minute in the half now. Ataco has to pass that one out. He passes it into Fordham. Eventually ends up back with Ataco here. Ibequi. Back to Ataco. Fordham will take the shot, and it will go, and it's a three-point game. About a second and a half separating the shot clock from the game clock. It is pool for three. That is no good. Villanova ends up with a shot clock turned off. Will they hold for the last shot of the half, or will they try and get the best possible shot? Ataco with it now. Eight, seven, six. There's a wild three. That is no good. Coastal ends up with it. Coming down the court, they're going to take a three ball, and it is no good by Bernard going into the half. So at halftime, your score is the visiting. Coastal Carolina Chanticleers, 24. The Villanova Wildcats, 21. And as you can see, Villanova's shooting slightly better than Coastal, but the three-point percentage has been a little bit of the difference so far. Coastal Carolina, few guys scoring over five, scoring five points or more. There's a miss by Villanova to open the second half. And now coming down is Moeller. Moeller will get it inside, and it will be stolen by Villanova. Couple quick passes and an easy cherry pick there for the Wildcats. A 24-23 game. Villanova's right there, one point behind. You got to hope that they don't take a lead and never give it back if you're a Coastal Carolina supporter. Inside, it's Cannon Bros, and it is blocked, and that goes to Villanova. There's a taco. Gets it into the corner to Ibequi. Back to a taco. And a shot and no good from the three line. And here comes Cannon Bros going with it in a nice teardrop make. On the runner, it is a three-point game. They go for a wild three that is no good. And Coastal's going to try and set up their best possible shot. Poole is going to have it stripped from him. 
And Villanova winds up with it, dumping it in low and blocked. A 26-23 ball game now with 6-12 to go in the game. Inside it's Bakker. Magic doesn't work this time and Nova with it. Passing it inside, lovely pass, but not a finish by the recipient. And there's a finish coast to coast. 28-23, a five-point game. A good shot by Villanova there. It is a three-point game now. This one might be a thriller all the way to the end, folks. You better buckle up and get ready for the ride. Miss there and the rebound by Bakker. He will be fouled on it. And he will miss the first free throw. Come on, Nick. But he will make the second free throw, and it is 29 to 29-25, a four-point lead for Coastal Wild. Miss there by Villanova. And now Coastal Carolina with a chance to possibly start putting daggers into the hearts of Villanova fans everywhere, except that is a steal. And here comes Villanova, and that's a block. But he will eventually get the points anyway. So a two-point game now. Very exciting. And inside, and it will be good. That will make it a four-point game. 31-27. Rebound, Coastal Carolina. It's Bernard. Bernard to Moeller, and he nails it. Swish. Another two for Coastal Carolina, and it's a six-point game now. That's a make from Villanova. Back to a four-point game we go. And inside, way to drive. Coastal Carolina. An outside three is no good, and the rebound is good for Coastal Carolina. And they will bring it up with a six-point lead and a chance to add to it. Inside, and that is going to be good. Coles, never heard of him on Coastal Carolina before. That might be one of his first minutes of the season. And a big three to try and get Villanova back into it. It's a five-point game again. Always seems to be hovering between the two and five-point mark, but there is an answer to the three. Now an eight-point game, and that's a miss Villanova. Second chance points here, though, as they will roundhouse it, and that's going to be a foul, and he'll get two shots. The first one does not go. The second one does not go, but they get the rebound and another foul, and this time the first one will go. The second will not. Rebound Coastal Carolina. That's three out of four misses on free throws right there for Villanova. That could do them in right there as there's only two and a half minutes to go in the ball game. Seven point lead for Villanova. Make it nine. I mean, seven point lead for Coastal Carolina. Make it nine as that lay in is good. And now a miss by Villanova and a three ball, and that one's no good. Nova will get the rebound. Coming up on two minutes remaining here. And now we are officially under two minutes. Holding forever. A taco trying to drive. Badly fouled. He will make the first and second free throws. And we are looking at a seven-point game at 42-35. The home team trying to make a comeback. It has been a tough game. Coastal Carolina giving them all they can handle. And that is going to end up being a steal for Coastal Carolina. They could really dagger them right now as it is a seven-point game with only 127 to go. You don't really expect Nova to come back, and that three ball is no good, but Nova does have a chance to come back. And coming down, and that one is no good. It is blocked off the glass. And Coastal Carolina coming down now to possibly stick a dagger, and there's one, a nine-point game. Villanova will miss their next shot. And now with a nine-point game, 
Coastal Carolina may be trying to perhaps add to the lead. Gets it inside, and it is added. 11 points, and that is Nick Bocker with his 12th point of the game. Inside, and Nick Bocker gets his 14th point of the game. Off the steal on an inbound pass, it is a 13-point lead for Coastal Carolina. Make it 15 points, 16 points. Why not just keep adding to it? There's a bomb three to cut it back to 13. But at 51-38, Villanova is all but run out of their own building here. In embarrassing fashion, might I say, here in the last minute and a half where you would expect a team of their rank, their caliber, to rise above the adversity and possibly tie, maybe win, Maybe even lose, but lose by a couple points. No, they made their small deficit a bigger one. And it will end as a 51-40 to 40 win for the Coastal Carolina Chanticleers here on the road. So for Coastal Carolina, Nick Bocker leads with 14 points. Cannon Bros with 12. Jones with 7. Bernard with 6. Muller with 5. 3 for Coastler. Man, the other guys weren't much of a factor. Looking at Villanova was Fordham with 12, Ataco with 11, Beckwe with 9. But all in all, a great game today for Coastal Carolina. We are going to go ahead and sim a couple. We lose to Canisius. We win another couple games. So Coastal Carolina sitting at four and three. The next game will be UNC Wilmington. They are six and three. They have some user players as well, some subscriber created players. How do you think we'll do against UNC Wilmington? Let me know in the comment section below. Let me know how you guys like this episode. Let me know you want the series to stick around by hitting that like button and subscribe. Mm -hmm.